Do you want to improve your English listening and comprehension? Then keep on watching. Welcome to Speak English Podcast with your host, Georgiana. The podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Hi, everyone. I am Georgiana, your English teacher. And today I will help you with your English listening. And with a mini story, you will improve your speech. I will also tell you how I learn other languages. Get the transcript at speakenglishpodcast.com. I'll see you there. Bye bye. Today I will tell you how to train your brain to listen more in English. And with a fun mini story, you will improve your English fluency. Nowadays, we are very used to watching content on the internet. There's a wide variety of materials. And when it comes to learning English, it's no exception. So I understand that you can feel overwhelmed by so many possibilities. That's why I'm here to give you clarity and to help you speak English. In a very short time and with a very efficient method. While most teachers switch from audio to video, I have done the opposite. There are several reasons why I've stopped making videos regularly. I've started making videos a decade ago. Meanwhile, I was teaching English one on one to students from all over the world and of all ages. That's how I came up with the best method to learn English. I noticed that when my students were listening to simple audio repeatedly, they were learning faster and their listening and speech improved. I realized that many students learn with their eyes and not with their ears. Listening was a greater challenge than reading for many. If you want to understand a language better, You need to train your brain to listen more. Another aspect that has helped me understand what my students really need was the fact that I'm a polyglot. I've started learning several languages when I was a kid by using different techniques. For me, the most effective way to learn a language was to learn by listening. With my podcast, You will improve your listening and comprehension, especially if you listen repeatedly. Most students think that the more variety, the better. So, what they usually do is listen to an audio once or twice and then change to something else. Well, variety is useful. But what you want is to consolidate what you listen to. In addition, It's essential to listen to simple content often and repeatedly. To get your brain used to listening more in English, I recommend that you take advantage of every moment you have. When you go to work, exercise, or when you're waiting in line, etc., always find time to listen to English content. If you want to train your brain to listen, The most effective way to achieve this is through repetition. For example, you can use one of my podcast episodes. I recommend that you listen to every episode several times to consolidate the content. I provide a transcript for each episode. So after listening to an episode a few times, get the transcript and read at the same time. Another excellent way to improve your English is by using my premium courses. Because of time limitations, you can only try my method using the podcast. However, I can hardly develop the lessons. Instead, the premium courses are complete programs designed to improve your English fluency dramatically. In fact, My premium courses contain hours and hours of questions and answers. Imagine for a moment the same as a podcast episode, but multiplied by 100. If you want to get more information about my courses, go to speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. 
Let's continue with a mini story. A mini story is very simple. I ask simple questions on purpose so that you can simulate a conversation in English. It's like talking with another person. Let's get started. Tom wanted to learn to speak English fluently on his own. What did Tom want to learn? Spanish? No, no. Tom didn't want to learn Spanish. He wanted to learn English. Did he want to learn how to write in English? No. He wanted to know how to speak English. Tom wanted to go to a language school, right? No, no. Tom didn't want to go to a language school. He wanted to learn English on his own. On his own or in a group. Not in a group. He wanted to learn English on his own. He found out that he had to repeat the same content many times. Did Tom find out something? Yes, he found out something. He found out that he had to repeat something, right? Yes, he found out that he had to repeat the same content. Who found out something? Tom. He found out something about how to learn English. Only one time or many times? Many times. Tom found out that he had to repeat the same content many times. Tom started listening and repeating the same sentence for a month. Did Tom listen to music? No, no. Tom didn't listen to music. Tom started listening to his friends, right? No. Tom started listening to a sentence. Did he listen to the same sentence for a year? No, no. He only listened to the same sentence for a month. After a year, Tom was able to speak English fluently and had perfect pronunciation. Was Tom able to speak Japanese? No, no. Tom wasn't able to speak Japanese. He was able to speak English. After how long was he able to speak English? After a year, Tom was able to speak English fluently after one year. Was he able to speak fluently? Yes, he was able to speak English fluently. Was his pronunciation horrible?
No, no. His pronunciation wasn't horrible. His pronunciation was perfect. The problem was that he only learned 12 sentences in English. Tom had a problem, right? Yes, he had a big problem. Did Tom learn 1,200 sentences in English? No, no. Tom didn't learn 1,200 sentences in English. He only learned 12 sentences. Perfect! It's the end of this mini-story. As you can see, through questions and answers, you can practice and improve your speech just like in a real conversation. This is one of the techniques that I use in my premium courses. I recommend that you take a look at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Okay, this is the end of this episode. Remember to listen to it several times. It will help you with your English. I want to invite you to follow me on Instagram. Go to instagram.com slash speakenglishpodcast. I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.